So I had to quickly set up the basha uh, in a position where I went and I forgot my tarp at home, uh, one we're going to sit underneath us while we're busy eating an MRE. So I just decided to pitch it in this position and then realized it's got way more than enough room for an individual to camp and I think this is a bit more, uh, a bit better for the person who's going to camp singularly alone, less weight, less stuff to bring with them. And uh, yeah, it works as your ground top as well as your rain cover um, obviously you can sit in this position have your camp fire everything over here there's definitely enough room on that side for rucksack things like that you slow on the busher you have the tie out points uh, obviously it'd be a bit more, much more beneficial to have that tied up to a tree I'm doing this in a very minimal setup so I've got two paracord guy lines with bungees on the ends one there one there a few poles from my regular tent setups. These are the kind of poles you get from military surplus. And I got another bungee there, a little bit of paracord. And that's all I did just very temporarily for myself and my kids to be just enjoying a little bit of outing in the woods. Laying down in there earlier on in the video, I was very surprised how lengthwise I was okay. When I normally pitch the, uh, the busher in length position, it's obviously longer this way. You do have the length, but then your rucksack has to be either right against you, which is pretty close to you, or all the way at the back, um, which means you can kick it out into the weather. I just find this setup surprisingly very cool, very easy. Take the paracord here, tie it further down, and just get that extra insulation as well as a uh, cover from the rainy. Super easy setup. All you need is just Pegs there, pegs there, maybe in the middle if you really want to. So, max six pegs. What I often do with these poles is I actually put pegs inside here as well. So you tie the rope through and you use the peg as something else to pull it in. Slide it through there. I'll show, give a demonstration of that in the future again. We'll see how I get along with this. See, I've set up very loosely. Again, I didn't set this up for this purpose. I just realized it's quite a nice little shelter system with the busher. Now that I realize how versatile they are, I might actually go ahead and get a few more of these, um, seeing what you can do with them. Obviously, I don't really highly recommend using that as a ground sheet. Um, you don't want to damage it and risk the um, waterproofness to get damaged or reduced. So that's kind of like a survival shelter, or if you're willing to buy one of these every few years, and if you want to go heavy camping, uh, Lake District, all the national parks and just carry less with you, then pretty good setup. Uh, and obviously there's multiple ways you can use it as well. It's a very good hammock top. Uh, obviously it's a lot smaller than your three by threes, but very powerful, very versatile and uh, military grade. So there you have it. Piece of equipment I've always wanted to have because I have lavus, I have all my canvas tents and everything, but I'm starting to, uh, quite enjoy these taking out with me on most of my trips uh, even little foraging day camps little hikes just in case the weather turns sour and uh, these things always help me out all right so this is the stuff sack which the basha came in originally and as they say most people know good luck ever getting it back in there after you've purchased it after you've taken it out so now I use this as my rig bag I call this a rigging bag so I keep straps in here, paracord, tent pegs, various different things, carabiners, and I just, it's like a grab bag for my setup. So for anything I need to put up tents, canvas tents, tops, hammocks, usually everything's in here. That's what I use it for now. And then I just bought a, I think this is an eight liter dry bag stuff sack. Um, and that's why you throw the bash in. Now I can squeeze it down more than this, but I'm kind of on the rush now. And that's it. That's the whole system in there. Um, I think I'm able sometimes to get down squashed to about that much, which is decent. Weight, I'll throw weight on the screen now. Let's see how much that weighs. And then, yeah, good system. Pretty lightweight and versatile. <laughs> 